Hello all, myself Krishna Mowa. I'm a PhD student at University of Nebraska Lincoln. I'll be talking about this paper about implementing a closed loop perception for unmanned aerial systems. Due to the advancements in the deep learning, these days ground and aerial robotics are equipped with convolution neural networks based perception. However, these neural networks have a trade off of uh, accuracy versus latency. A high latency, high accuracy network tend to be more accurate at detecting, but uh, it may suffer with latency. On the other hand, a low latency, low accuracy network can give the inferences much faster. However, its inference is not confident enough. Both are not good for the control system to guide our robot. Moreover, the environment changes dynamically, so, so as the perception should be. So that is the reason why we uh, proposed a closed loop perception system, which changes in accordance with the dynamics of the environment. So we have tested this both in the simulator and the real world experiments as well. For simulator, we have used HSIM, and for real world, we have used uh, TeloUS. And we have tested this approach on a US, US tracking scenario. Typically, the CNNs, when you start deselecting certain filters, automatically the accuracy is going to drop very significantly. To avoid that problem, we have tried our CNN with a random regularized parameter for every epoch. With that, we can achieve a, a smooth drop as the filters get deselected. You can see here that um, uh, we are deselecting the filters based on the impact value of the filters. Uh, which is quantified based on the mean absolute sum of the filter. Impact threshold increases, filters get deselected, and you can see that the accuracy is dropping smoothly rather than in a cliff manner. And to see the latency, so the latency should be decreased as well, but uh, the equipped uh, neural network packages such as TensorFlow or PyTorch, when you prune certain filter, it doesn't actually remove it, it replaces those with zeros even at that point, the computations are still happening. So we have used the base .NET code and edited it such a way that we can avoid those computations. And you can see that here the latency is decreasing as uh, the filters are get dis discarded. So this is a result of the real world data. Here are some sample results, like for instance, impact threshold zero, which it is using all the filters. And you can see that it is very good at detecting. Whereas in case uh, when you start increasing the impact threshold, you can see that sudden detection failures. Same uh, similar kind of results with um, real world data as well. To control the perception, we have implemented a PID based perception controller, uh, which actually produced the impact threshold. The controller decides the impact threshold based upon the perception accuracy and latency. So the perception factor is proportional to number of consecutive false negatives. As the consecutive failures increases, the perception tend to pull it towards perception side so that it decreases the impact threshold. On the other hand, the latency factor is inversely proportional to the RMSC error of the image coordinates, which actually try to make the drone to be always in front of the target. As it decreases, the latency factor increases, push it in the other way. So net factor is calculated based on the difference of the perception factor and the latency factor. And the net factor is used to calculate the required impact threshold with a PID controller. You can see the architecture of the system here that a chasing US is taking the picture of the world and it's feeding to the convolution neural network, which provides the a pose of the target US, which will be given to the LQR to generate the appropriate motion control strategy for the chasing US. Uh, based upon the uh, fault number of consecutive false negatives and the error between the chasing US and the target US, the PID decides a required impact threshold, which will be used to activate or deactivate certain filters in the convolution neural network. Here you could see the results of the proposed approach with, with uh, baseline HLHA, which means high latency, high accuracy, and baseline low latency, low accuracy approach. The target is equipped with a trajectory which changes its direction and velocity very quickly. And uh, you can see that the way the target is moving here with uh, the orange line. And uh, 
The Chasing US is equipped with three strategies, that is proposed approach and two based on approaches. You can see that the proposed approach able to track the target very well compared to the baseline approach HLHA and LLLA. The baseline approach HLHA is good at detecting the target, but because of its latency, the control is not able to provide the appropriate control strategy at the appropriate time. Whereas the low latency, low accuracy network is very, very fast, uh, so it can provide the estimation within the time to the control. However, its um, confident detection is not good enough, which is actually casing uh, for a deviation. On the other hand, the proposed approach can behave it in both ways based upon the situation as providing the fast influence to the controller on the other hand, providing a robust uh, confidence to the controller. Here you can see the trajectory deviation plots for uh, four trials of the approach. And each approach you can see that um, the baseline LLA has uh, much more deviation than the other two. And um, the proposed approach has less deviation compared to other two approaches. And uh, similarly, the experiments with the real world can be seen we can see the similar kind of results. Moreover, this strategy not only able to help to track the target well, it also can yield uh, latency and energy as a byproduct, such as you can see that um, overall latency by the convolution neural network can be seen here that um, uh, the HLHA, as we guessed, that it has um, high latency, and the low latency, low accuracy network has less latency, as we know. And um, the proposed approach has a latency almost par with the low latency, low accuracy network, yet yielding a better tracking. Similarly, the energy consumption can be seen uh, in this plot, which actually shows that high latency, high accuracy network use a lot of uh, energy. This energy consumption is calculated based on the computations happening in the, in the system. And uh, the low latency network has um, less energy compared to all the approaches, yet the proposed approach energy consumption is almost equal to the low latency, low accuracy network, yet yielding better results than low accuracy, low latency, and high accuracy, high latency network. Finally, we have also created a different metric called critical velocity. This is the velocity at which place the target is going to leave the field of view of the chasing US within one second and also the target is changing the directions very quickly. So to track such kind of the target, the perception should not only be robust enough, but also be fast enough to assist the controller. And you can see that high latency, high accuracy network fail all the times, even though it is good with getting a good robust detection, but it cannot able to guide the target to reach and follow the trajectory until the end because it is lo losing the target at some point because of its high latency. On the other hand, low latency, low accuracy network is quick enough to assist the controller. However, its perception is not robust enough. When at the times when the perception accuracy is kind enough, it is able to talk, track the target. On the other situation, it is losing. You can see that the proposed approach able to track the target in every situation. It is because of the nature of the proposed approach which changes its behavior based upon the requirement, either providing a, a robust perception to the controller or providing the fast response to the controller. It's based upon based on its ability to change its uh, behavior in accordance with the dynamics of the environment. It's able to track the target until the end of the trajectory for all the iterations. So in summation, we actually have implemented a closed loop perception which is the way for not only for aerial robotics, but also for all kind of robots, which handling the dynamic environment, uh, the perception model should be able to accommodate those changes and behave in such a way uh, in accordance with the changes in the dynamics of the environment. These results show that the proposed approach not only help the system or the aerial robotics to achieve its goal, but also yielding advantage with the latency and energy consumption as well, which are the critical resources in um, a resource constraint systems such as uh, aerial robots. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, 
I'm happy to answer. Please do not hesitate to reach me. Thank you.